This is a quick overview of some of the considerations for writing a lab report in first semester physics. It is not intended as a complete list, as the instructions will already have been given to you in the lab policies, and you are also responsible to listen to and follow any additional announcements by your instructor. Before reviewing this video, make sure to have already downloaded and read through at least once all of the policies given to you by the instructor. The purpose of lab reports is to provide clear truthful communication about scientific experiments and data analysis. The exact format of a scientific report may vary depending on subject and discipline But for this class, here are the sections that are required. In the order, they must appear in your report. At the top, your report should have a descriptive title and date of report, followed by your full name, then the names of anybody else you have collaborated with. If required, follow this by an abstract. An abstract should be the last section written after you have completed all other parts of the lab and will not be covered here. The introduction should define all the relevant physical principles and laws and the relationship of the most important variables. The introduction should connect the theory to how your experiment is going to demonstrate them by stating the question you are trying to answer. You will also often be required to state why the theory is important in real life applications. The procedure should detail the setup as well as steps of calculations you have taken to complete the measurements and calculation results of the experiment. Note, you are writing a report, not an instruction manual. Throughout the report, you need to write in first person.
follow the procedure with your data and results. The order you present your data and results should be the same that you had outlined as the steps of the procedure. In general, summary format of data and results in forms of tables and graphs is required and detailed calculations should only be shown if they will be relevant to your analysis later. For every result you had presented, you must discuss it in the discussion slash analysis section. Include discussions of variable dependencies, trends in the results, and even results that have no trends at all. For the error analysis, make sure to use the numbers from your results to justify why you think there was an error and what caused it. Try to be quantitative. The conclusion should mirror the introduction. It should refer back to the theory and the question you were trying to answer, connect it to the experiment with reference to the most significant results from your analysis. The last page of a report should be your reference list in proper APA format for any sources you have cited in your report. Here is a quick demonstration of some of the features mentioned in the previous introduction. This is an imaginary experiment only. For the purposes of demonstrating the elements of the write up. The report starts with the title, date of report, my name, and the name of my collaborator. This is followed by a brief abstract. The introduction gives relevance, states the theoretical principle with relevant equation that has all variables defined and connects it to our experiment. We also define what questions we are trying to answer. Note also the APA citation style of outside sources. For any equations, it is customary to label them with equation number 
for easier, quicker reference later. For the procedure, we continue defining equations even when they refer back to other equations. We include definitions for each new variable. And define what will be measured and how. Notice that throughout we are using first person declarations as is required by reporting. The results section follows. The order of steps of the measurements and then calculations presented in the procedure. Results are presented in summary table form with units, whether next to the measurements or in the column headers. Each figure has its own descriptive caption referring back to the relevant parts of the procedure for variables and equations. The discussion follows the order of the results in analyzing any trends or non-trends. It uses the results to answer the question. The error analysis uses the numbers from the results to justify its claims for sources of error. The conclusion summarizes the experiment, referring back to the answer to the question and how the experiment demonstrated it. At the back of the report, we list all cited references in APA style. Make sure to include page numbers at the bottom or top of each page. Note that your instructor may require alterations on the format of each section, so listen carefully to all announcements.